you were found empty, barren, barren outside of the life of Christ. Oh, repent, I say repent, 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 lest you die and you stand before Christ and hear him say, I, I, I never, I never knew you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. It's been, it has been better that you have not been born, sir. Lest you repent. Lest, lest you repent. It will be better. It will be better for you not to have been born. Lest you repent. Oh, the Bible says, the Bible says it is written, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible says, by the fruit he shall know them. Not everyone that say unto me. The Bible says, no, no, no. No thorn can bring forth grapes. No, no, not thistles, figs. Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Therefore, every tree that brings not forth good fruit shall be cut down and cast, cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit, by their fruit he shall know them. By their fruit he shall know them. Jesus said, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth that which is good. But an evil man, a wicked man, a vile, perverse man brings forth out of his heart that which is evil. Therefore, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And everyone, every man shall give an account in the, in the day of judgment for every word that he has spoken. I tell you, be warned. Don't, don't think that you can continue to ride on and linger in your sin and be a child of God. You, you are deceiving yourself. For the Bible says, it is written to you. So you justify your sins before Christ, before Holy God, and before them who call upon the name of the Lord in truth. To you it is written, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that sinned is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. And for this purpose the Son of God Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was manifest that He might destroy, put to death, put an end, destroy the works of the devil. God says to you, in this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. In this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever Whosoever doeth not, righteousness is not of God, neither is he that loves not his brother. Whosoever doeth not, righteousness is not of God, neither he that loves not his brother. But we are living in a time when men are walking after the imagination of their own heart, walking according to the deceitful lust of the flesh, and yet they say, when men are, are, are full of perversion, their heart is full of, full of, full of covetousness, their eyes, their eyes are full of adultery, oh, the, the tongue is full of cursing, vile and perverse, the poison of asp is under the lips, God says, oh, to you there is no peace, there is no peace for you, oh, the Bible commands you to repent. Yet you say that you are children of God, yet you say, yet you say that you are walking with God because you might go to church on Saturday or Sunday or say a few pure prayers, or the Bible commands you to repent. All your works, they are filthy rags. Oh, God says, sir, repent, will you, ma'am? Repent, will you? Will you turn from your sin? Oh, repent, repent. 
Repent, we are here to warn, we are here in mercy, we are here in love. We are here to tell you that except you repent, you would all likewise perish. Just as Jesus stood, stood and the people said to him, Lord, 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 what's, what's, what about those men whose blood Pilate mingled with the daily sacrifices? And Jesus responded and he said unto them, What? What think you that these men were greater sinners than all these these Galileans or greater sinners than all the men in Galilee? I tell you no, but except you repent, you'd all likewise perish. Except you repent, you'd all likewise perish. And what about those Jews, those upon whom the tower of Siloam fell? Do you think that there were greater sinners than all the men in Jerusalem? I tell you no, but except you repent, you'd all, you'd all likewise perish. Do you think that this man, this, this, this radical Muslim jihadist that walked into the gay lesbian club and shot up over 49 or so people to death, that they're greater sinners than you? I tell you no. But except you repent, you are destroying lives, you'll perish. You'll perish with them. You can, you can green your teeth and smile, and, but I tell you what God says. You will die in your sins except you believe that Jesus is the Christ and you stand before him in judgment. Ma'am, and you will give an account of all the things that you have done in the body. I know, I know, you laugh at Christ, I know, you laugh, you laugh, but in that day there will be no laughing. There will be weeping, there will be wailing, and there will be gnashing of teeth. God will command his angels, go, bind her, hand and foot, and cast her into the darkness. And then, there is an eternal, an eternal weeping, an eternal wailing, an eternal gnashing of teeth. There are torments awaiting you beyond that you have ever experienced a scene. Oh, the dread, the, the terror, all oh, that awaits those who will be cast into this place that is called, described as, by Christ as out of darkness. Repent. Repent. The, this is the love of God that you keep his commandments. He that says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar. God says, a woman ought to be silent. Yes. Oh, for, 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 for the Bible says a meek and a quiet spirit. The woman, yes, who has a meek and a quiet spirit is of a pearl of great price to God. But the women today are loud. They're, they're boisterous. They want to be heard. Oh, I can do what the boys can do. I'm just as mighty and strong. Oh, I have the same will and purpose. But God commands you to learn in silence, to be quiet. Uh-huh. God commands you to dress modestly. Go home and change your garment, God says. Lest you die and you stand before holy God and you, you are cast out apart from his kingdom. Oh, because the Bible says the expectation of the wicked, the expectation of the wicked shall never be realized. You expect to live in your sin and then, then enter into the gates of the city of God. But, but your hope is in vain. God is holy. And he commands, he commands you to be holy as he is holy. It is written to you, to you that say, to you that say that we are all sinners. The Bible says that all have sinned, yes, and fallen short of the glory of God. God says, I have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But, but the Bible says, who serve is born of God does not commit sin. Because his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he's born of God. Not me, God says. Can a Christian sin here or there? But he does not, he or she does not live in sin. They, does not, they, they do not dream or think upon that which is evil. No, they think upon the things that are pure, the things that are true, the things that are just, the things that are... Lovely, the things, the things that are, that are of good report. 
If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, they think upon the things that are above, where Christ sits at the right hand of God. Not on the things of this world. No. Because we are just pilgrims. We are passing through. This is not our home. For we seek, we seek a country. As Abraham, our father, we seek a country. We seek a country whose building and maker is God. Uh-huh. God says, you need to repent. All of you, lest you stand before Christ tonight. I don't know the time or the hour in which you will die and stand before Christ. Many of your friends thought that they would be here with you and you thought that they would as well, but they died. They died and they've gone on to judgment because after death comes a judgment, God says. Repent. While you have time. While you are yet breathing in the land of the living. Jesus says to you, come unto me. All you who are labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart.